I don't know if everyone truly understands just how monumental this wave of color changers is and what it means to the car's diecast line as a whole. And I hate to break it to you, it is absolutely nothing to do with Mater over here. Sorry Mater, we love you. You're just a bystander here. You're just a re-release while Jeff Corvette is the star of the show. Brand new release that really had no business being made. This is the first Cars 2 character they've given a color changer to since the movie came out. Cars 2 in 2011. They did do a new version of Francesco Bernoulli in 2020, but that doesn't really count to me because they did do him in 2011 and then again in 2016. Jeff Corvette is so significant because it's a character they had never touched before, and they have always proven to be very conservative with their choices in the color changers line, doing a lot of Lightning McQueen variants, a lot of Maters, and Sally's and just kind of some of those more safer characters. But Jeff Corvette, all the way back to the movie that they kind of want to make everyone forget about Cars 2, just blows my mind. Not to mention, you could argue Cars 2 killed the color changers line for the longest gap in its history. Of course, color changers were introduced in 2010 and they did do quite a few Cars 2 ones in 2011, but after that, it took its longest break ever, right? Not coming back until 2015, 2016, and then taking another break for Cars 3 until 2020. So, man, guys, I can't say enough good things about this Jeff Corvette color changer. Not only is it a beautiful shift from yellow to red, I can't wait to test it out today, but really this is something that I never expected to happen. And I put it up in the ranks of Clutch Kringle and just how surprising it is. Like this feels like it belongs in 2011. Like I cannot believe they decided to go back to the cars too well for a color changer when they have cars three and cars on the road to pull from. They really have no reason to go back this far. But hey, great job from Mattel. And even if it comes with, in this wave, a major re-release now, his third time around, 2010 and then 2016, I'm totally okay with it. But yeah, guys, this new wave of color changers is out, hitting Walmart stores in the USA. I found Mater kind of a while ago, missed on Jeff, but after a couple weeks or so, my store is restocked and I was able to find a few Jeffs. So hopefully these will be abundant as most color changers are. I'm sure they'll start showing up at Target and Meyer here in the coming weeks and months as well. But yeah, the package looks great. I love the you know red and yellow artwork they provide here for Jeff. I think it's a perfect decision for this shift. Like, I don't think there's really a better combination of colors. I think you have to do them in yellow because that's his recognizable paint job. And then red is just like the coolest other color they could possibly do that embodies the entire car's line. Man, this is just so cool, guys. I'm geeking out right now over how amazing this release is. Hopefully it lives up to the just idea of it but yeah nice stock images as well let's see the headlights i guess don't change color those kind of look odd being yellow amidst all the red and yeah that almost looks gold over here on this side reminding me of the metallic jeff corvette they did in 2011 as well and yeah here is mater we've seen this artwork before because they have done this shift of brand new mater going from his teal to a green in fact I have the original 2010 one here. Now the color shades are slightly different, but the overall idea from it going from that teal to green is the same. They did do a new shift for Brand New Mater, the teal to the purple a few years ago, but this one is like a new variant from Vietnam, whatever you wanna call it. It's not technically a new combination though. He does look a little bit, greener than I remember him being. So it'll be interesting to see how well he changes color. The stock images look cool and all that. So green is his cold color. We'll keep in mind that the new colors are the cold colors. So yeah, let's rip these open, man. I've been waiting forever for a new Cars 2 color changer. Never thought it would happen. All 
right, we got the submersion tanks filled up and ready to go. As per usual, before we start testing them out, I do want to. And it looks like Mater somehow his eyes already got wet. They kind of look, or maybe that's just the way the sticker was applied. But either way, we need to review these and compare them to other versions of themselves before we start dipping and dunking. We're going to start with Mater because you guys know how we roll on the channel here. We save the best for last. Let's move the tanks back a little bit and let's not also flood Radiator Springs. That would be disastrous actually. Yeah, that would be really bad. All right, so first I just want to show you some other color changer maters I have. The most recent one they did was President Mater. And if you guys remember, I reviewed this almost exactly one year ago today. It's kind of crazy. It's probably off by, you know, give or take a week. But What's crazy is actually how poorly the color changer has kind of worn and aged. There's a lot of wear and tear on it, a lot of kind of chips around the edges, especially on the roof there. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this Mater, but it just seems like kind of a common trend with a lot of color changers. Like you can see right there, a lot of wear around the fender, a lot of wear around the headlights and these cylindrical beams in Mater. Not that I really mind that much. I mean, there's a big gash right there on the back. They're plastic. I mean, it's going to happen for sure, but it is a little annoying because it's not like I'm constantly using them and dipping and dunking them, as I like to say. So it just is a little frustrating for sure. But I know, like I said, it happens when you're dealing with this plastic that is not necessarily designed to hold up, but it's necessarily designed to change colors. So then, of course, you have the purple version of Mater. Now, this one is relatively new as well, but dates back to 2020. It does seem to have held up a little bit better. There's just a couple, usually in the corners is where they chip the best or, you know, on the more vulnerable spots. Probably not a best, <laughs> the best thing to say. They chip the best, but they're just more prone to chipping like in the corners. But yeah, that President Mater was weird. So we're just going to test this one really quick here. All right, so it's not that one. It is going to be this one. We're going to see if he could still change and how well he can. Looks like slowly but surely he's changing back into his quote-unquote teal. I just want to be able to compare this now to the teal version of the new one here. And yeah, you can see that it's still kind of dark. It's got like that purple accent to it, but it did a pretty good job of changing. We're going to just set him back here so he can kind of dry off and we'll come back to him when we need him in 2022 they did this version of mayor which is one of my favorites actually because for once they didn't use brand new mater and they just used regular mater and he also has a really cool expression kind of like the precision series version of mater but yeah he just goes from brown to let's find out here so he goes to a teal as well should have known better it's kind of like they want the best of both worlds it's like a green teal. It's kind of a weird looking color right now. I don't half mind it though. But yeah, I really like this version of Mater and good to see that it is still functioning quite well. I'm not going to test the 2010 version I have here though. But as you can see, it does have a mouth play with the crack going around his mouth there. I guess he does kind of have that going on here. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Wow, both of them do indeed have a mouth plates. I was not expecting the new one to have one as well, but you could definitely see the crack in the same spot. Yeah, they have pretty much the same exact expression in the eyes and mouth. The eyes are just moved up a little bit. You have the tow mater towing and salvage radiator springs decal on the side door, of course, looking pretty good and crispy. These are made in Vietnam. It's one of the few lines that are still being made in vietnam of course multi-packs were some of the expanded universe stuff was and then they started moving it all to thailand and it's kind of weird because it's like what was the point you move everything away from china you split up between vietnam and thailand and after like a year or two you start moving kind of everything over to thailand but whatever you could also see like my hands are changing the color on this new mater but yeah this older mater here actually stayed in phenomenal condition as you can see there's not like a chip on it so it just kind of goes to show that they might be using cheaper material now for these color changers and then last but not least here is just the die cast version of brand new mater full metal 
Of course, the regular version of Mater, just like the Rusty's version, the Rusty version of him. Once 2011 hit, they started making the back half of him plastic instead of the full die cast like he had been. And it didn't go back to being full die cast until Thailand took over in 2018. That all being said, brand new Mater was always full die cast no matter when or by who he was made from. Like when brand new Mater was released, I think in like 2015 or 2016, he was still full die cast. And in fact, this one is... I believe from one of those newer releases. Yeah, this was the 2015 release, 2974. That means he was made the 297th day of 2014. Bam, look at that. All right, let's move on to Jeff Gorvet. Of course, my favorite here. We don't even have to test him out. He looks so good in red. I'm glad that that is the color that he's like, quote unquote, stuck in right now because, yeah, it would kind of suck if he was in the yellow because we know what he looks like in yellow. So they went with the same expression that he always has had here. The eyes are a little bit smaller though. But yeah, really cool. Let's see how good the decals look. Eh, not great, but it gets the job done. You have the American flag 24 for Jeff Gordon's number, who he's voiced by and based on, if that wasn't already obvious, the real-life NASCAR racer. You have the all-in-all -all World Grand Prix decals. And yeah, my fingers must be really warm because they are changing the colors on these color changers with ease. I could probably just palm it with or cup it with my palms and <laughs> don't even need the water here, which is steaming by the way, or it was like when I brought it over to the table, it was steaming. Yeah, the decals look pretty good. Powered by all in all, you got the American flag looking good. Now, if you guys don't know how to read these date stamps, it's 3203, so the 320th day of 2023 at the SD factory. So those first three digits are the day, the last digits the year, and that's exactly how the Chinese ones read. It's not how the Thailand ones read, but it's how the Chinese ones did. But yeah, it's really cool to see Jeff in a different light. I mean, we've seen him in a darker paint job, gray carbon fiber from the Carbon Racer series with a new wing and new wheels, that is. We also saw him in silver, of course, in the Silver Racers line. There are two variants of it, by the way. There's a lot of variants of Jeff because sometimes they would do him with the Corvette logo on the hood there, and sometimes not. Both of these have variants without the Corvette logo. So at the end of the day, I'm just happy that they included it because it is supposed to be that way, and Corvettes are my favorite real-life car brand. I actually own one. And it is red. So maybe that's why I'm also just so crazy about this color changer. You guys could put the pieces together. But we're going to get going. And yeah, the cold is what we want. Okay, so yeah, we've already seen him in green. I just, let's put him all the way back in green. And now let's make him the teal color. And wow, that shifted quickly and very cleanly. There is no like residual green, which would make sense because it's the darker color. Yeah, I mean, he looks like brand new Mater, like we know and love him to be, that bright teal. Good stuff. Now, again, it's really important to see how these age. Like, I feel like a re-review of some color changers could be in order to see how well they change after like three, four years. Because right now, like, they are very new, you know, they're less than a couple months old, so... I mean, they're a little bit more than a couple months old, but you guys get what I'm saying. They're very new. So you can see with this one, like, even though he does shift back, he still has a lot of the purple to him, like the purple accents. Like, even if I dunk him in here for, you know, and just leave him soaking in there for a few seconds, and keep in mind that this one changed in, like, one second, it's still, like, a little darker. Like, you could see just, like, the purple residual action around the hood and all that. But yeah, these are supposed to be the same color. It's just unfortunate that the dark purple is going to make the other color look a little less pure, right? It's just kind of how it goes. The dominant color takes over. But yeah, good stuff there. Nice comparison for sure. And then here's your other mater. Let's put him all the way back to his green. Yeah, it's more green than even his teal, so... 
Man, Mater's just gotten so much color changer action. It's like, what the hell? Save some for the rest of us, Mater. <laughs> I do like this version a lot. I like how he's still shifting as well. All right, so yeah, there was Mater. We'll do a little half and half. How about that? We'll go try and get all the way up to, oh man. It's gonna be tough. Trying to do a perfect half and half, but it's gonna be difficult just the way my submersion tanks are but we did a pretty good job and yeah he looks pretty cool that way definitely intimidating to bubba surely <laughs> imagine a bubba color changer wouldn't that be awesome all right so now he's fully red let's make him fully yellow all right so it took a little bit especially below the eye sticker but yeah i mean he changed perfectly and again yellow is a lighter color could be dominated by the red but i don't see any red except under the sticker there a little bit, which I'm sure if I left him in there for a little bit longer, that would also change those few little dots right there. But yeah, he looks great, man. I'm really vibing with it. Again, it's not a new color by any stretch of the imagination. It's just his usual color, but I am a humongous fan of it and probably will go down as one of my favorite color changers that Mattel has ever done. Believe it or not, yeah. All right, let's do a little half and half action with him for sure. I think he could really benefit from it because you can almost pretend that that's how he's actually supposed to look. Like the red kind of blends in with the stripes on the American flag there. Like I think that looks super cool. The headlights are just kind of weird the way that they're yellow and just kind of stick out. <laughs> they always blended in with him before, you know what I mean? Because he was yellow. But yeah, this is awesome, guys. Definitely pick up Color Changer Jeff if you can. I guarantee you he'll be the best Color Changer release of the year. I know, yeah, I mean, we have a Color Changer reveal video coming out very soon in a few days here. So I can't say anything yet. But yeah, I think this video will come out on like Tuesday, January 29th or 30th or something like 30th. Yeah, it's going to be the 30th, I believe, recording this a few days early. But yeah, guys. Pretty sure that's all I wanted to talk about. Let me know who is your favorite between these two. Maybe there's some major lovers out there. But I just feel that objectively you have to go with Jeff because of the fact that they've already done so many maters. And not only that, they've done this exact mater a few times before. And that exact mater was this one right here. Slightly different shade though at the end of the day. It's a darker teal, but same kind of idea. And I'm just still happy the Color Changers line is around. In fact, this is the longest it has lasted in any of its stints. Of course, there was 2010 to 11, 2015 to 2016. And, I mean, there was like that Jackson Storm and Cruiser Mirrors they did kind of in 2018 internationally. That doesn't really count. It really started up again in like summer of 2020. And now it's going on its fourth year. And, yeah, that's basically double any of its previous stints. So I think that's a good sign it's sticking around. Also, it's available at many retailers, Walmart, Target, Meyer, etc., whereas a lot of things like two packs in the US here at least are only available at Meyer and Target. Not even Walmart, right? So there's a lot of things that are kind of like store exclusives, but color changers are just like singles. I mean, they're kind of available everywhere. So I think that's a very good sign. And yeah, he's going to go really nicely with my color changer Francesco here from 2020 that goes from red to blue. The one they did in 2011 before in 2016 was red to yellow or red to white, that is. Then here is one of the World Grand Prix McQueens that they did with a very mean looking expression. And don't forget, they did even do a color changer's Raul Set Rule in 2011. Very lame though, it's like blue to light blue. I don't have one loose, I have one in the package though. And trust me, I won't be opening that. And all the ones loose you could find are super damaged because, well, it's a color changer. It's plastic. We weren't over this already. All right, guys. Thanks as always for watching. Bye now. Bye.